So, um, in the stages of our human evolution, I feel that um, we go through um, different octaves of action and the way our mind functions. You know, you mentioned, you asked me before, what were the core moments in my own evolution or the core experiences? And one of them was a moment where after 12 years of spiritual training, I realized that the rest of my life was no longer going to be about me. You know, very often when you wake up and you're training and you are a kid or you are learning, it's all about you building your family, your job, your car, your bank account, it's all centered around you and then you contribute a little bit to the community or to the world. Um, what happened around 2000 is that after 12 years of spiritual training, I had the feeling, internal feeling, like the forces out there were like, okay, we are done with you. Finish, your training is done. You don't, you don't need to go and check your emotions, you don't need to go into uh, doing any form of technique that is just for your own sake, you know, it's like, we are done with training you, you're ready to serve. <laughs> so the moment this impulse started coming, you know, I started going to uh, some hills close to my place and every day I was praying, I was like, you know, going and putting my hands and I say, I'm, yes, saying a yes to that, I'm ready. And um, the call was, use me, take me where I need to be. I want to be guided. And uh, instead of me coming and saying, okay, my agenda is to build this company and uh, get myself a nice mansion in the coast of California and, uh, you know, and have my agenda, it was no longer about my agenda. And it hasn't been anymore about my agenda. Everything, the Vital Coaching brand and all that is just my way of communicating and serving the world. But, you know, I mean, right now I could just give it up everything and just go and live in a forest somewhere on the beach, uh, get married, have some kids, you know. The reason why I'm not doing that is because there is a calling that comes from within that is guiding my steps. It means that I, it's almost like you are being hired by forces that are much faster than yourself. And, uh, and so that moment of conversion where you say, I'm ready, the rest of my life is no longer my agenda. I have another priority, which is a priority to serve and be, be in service to the planet and humankind. Then there is a radical shift at that moment. And anybody on this planet right now can make that choice. The reason why you are not making it, maybe right now, is because you still have things to learn and process as an indiv individual. So, what does it mean? It means that your body or your life is not yet optimized to a place where you've got your shit together. Not yet. So, what does it mean? It means that you don't understand yet the dynamics of your thoughts and emotions or you don't know how to take care of your body, there is a moment where you feel that your training, your basic training is complete. And the moment that happens, then you're ready to dedicate your life to something which is much vaster than yourself, which is planetary and human evolution. And so, when you engage in that direction, what happens is that the choice that you make start being much more aligned with what the planet and humankind needs. And it's no longer about your own individual choices. So, what, um, you know, what I teach, for instance, within the Vital Tantra system, it's still a preparation system to get you to a place where you are energetically independent and you have all the tools that you need to live in a state of harmonization. Because if you have to go to battle, you know, being uh, in, in a place which is going to be challenging and uh, making lots of um, spontaneous choices about your life, and uh, you are still worried about stuff, you know, like you didn't solve some childhood issue or you don't know how to take care of your body, or you're not, you're not in good health, or you systematically create conflicts with people. You know, it's like if you and I have to go to battle together, and on the battlefield we realize that we, we don't know how to function together, how are we going to make it happen? We cannot start a business together. So the first thing we have to learn is how, how do we harmonize together? The first step is harmonize your body, then harmonize your mind, and then start to learn how to harmonize relationships both romantic and just, you know, interpersonal relationships, 
and then you learn how to relate to the world and to the planet and humankind, you know, making a living, how do you relate to money, and then how to relate to the invisible, for instance, to nature. You know, right now we are surrounded by nature. You have mosquitoes, you have bugs, you have snakes. How, how do we interact with all that? Do I go around with a big land mower cutting down everything? How? You know, what are the codes to be in harmony with all that? So once you optimize all that, which means that you have a level of satisfaction and optimization which is at 80% in all those different areas, relationships, body, mind, uh, money and spirit, you are in harmony, it means 80% uh, optimization in all these places, then you can start uh, entering in service to something which is much vaster than yourself. But suppose that you've got all this covered except the money aspect and you are in debt, like $200,000 in debt. The, the planet cannot use you. You first need to fix that. Or that you, you have all these things together but you are a really painful person, very toxic to be around because you are systematically entering into arguments with people then it's very difficult to, to, uh, for you to have a positive impact on the planet because you are going to bring in all the shadows all the time. Or that you are emotionally or energ energetically unstable. Or that you are, you, know, you are facing some serious health issues. So none of these are deal breakers, but the, the, the system of uh, vital tantra and vital coaching are here to help you optimize all that. And very fast you notice that as soon as you start optimizing all that, then you enter into the ne next octave of your evolution. And the next octave is when you are in service. And being in service means that you can see exactly how you can contribute. And being in service doesn't mean that you give away your own needs. No, you, you can have fun doing that. You can have a family, you can do all these things. But you see that your role in life plays uh, a certain role in something which is much vaster than yourself and you are very much aware of what is the unique gift that you can bring to the planet and humankind. And so you start entering into a relationship with the invisible which is much more conscious and much more aware.